Community pharmacy is a great place to carry out clinical trials, mainly because community pharmacies can support with all aspects of study delivery. And so, for example, um, a community pharmacist can be a principal investigator for a study, um, so they can um, manage the study on the site. And indeed, we had the Rococo study in the West Midlands, um, where several of our community pharmacies the pharmacist took that role, they were the principal investigator. As well, they can support with the management of clinical trials medicines and of course they're ideally placed to do that. But not only that, community pharmacies can raise awareness of research as well. So it might not be that they directly support a study, but they can certainly signpost and promote studies. Community pharmacy is really ideal setting for, for, for research. Um, a, accessibility, um, B, we get a variety of patients uh, turning up through our doors, so whether it's coming in to get a prescription, whether they're coming in to get a flu jab, whether they're coming in to get something over the counter, or just buy a general stock from the, from the store. So actually the variety of patients that we have that could be then included in, into the research um, really sets us apart from places like primary care, so doctor surgery, or secondary care or tertiary care. Community pharmacies offer some advantages, potentially over the healthcare providers, in that they um, have access to harder to reach um, populations, a different population I guess to that of GPs. Public patients might come to a pharmacy um, to ask for advice, for example, about a minor ailment. They might come to ask about whether or not they think they should go and see the GP to get the pharmacist's advice. So there's something there about um, seeing patients at potentially a different part of their disease progression. People also come perhaps more regularly, those with long-term conditions, they might see the pharmacist more often than maybe their GP or other health care provider, but they're also very accessible and people use pharmacies far more, I think, than you might realise. So I think the statistics are something like 99% of people can get to a community pharmacy um, in their car in about 20 minutes and equally about 96% can get there in 20 minutes either by foot or by public transport. They're also open longer than GP practices, so tend to have longer opening hours um, and certainly a lot of them do weekends um, as well. So actually more opportunity for patients to go and see their pharmacist and see their GP.